Today on Impulse, I'm back again with Justin to talk about Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 and the DLC we want to see. So far, the confirmed characters that we know of that are going to be DLC are Cyclops, Colossus, Punisher, Blade, Moon Knight, and Morbius, which... I don't know who that is, that's that's entering the realm of niche territory The living me. vampire! You know, oh, Jared okay. Leto, Sony movie coming, oh, technically boy. a Spider-Man character. But uh, according to, to a, a basically a slide shown at the latest Comic-Con, this is from a GameSpot article, uh, the X-Men will be coming next in terms of actual DLC content, followed by the Fantastic Four, which are both planned for 2019 and 2020, respectively. So there is DLC on the way, and I imagine like a lot of it will be X-Men and Fantastic Four themed. So, that said, I'm not gonna, like, jump into, like, various X-Men characters. Like, this whole entire episode could be just literally us listing off X-Men characters. So I'm only gonna stick to a single character in terms of the X-Men. So I figure we'll bounce back and forth. I'll do a pick, okay. you do a pick. But, uh, my first pick, like I said, will be, you know, for meme value, I'm gonna go with Juggernaut. I, I really liked him in X-Men Legends 2. I was a big fan of X-Men Legends 1 and 2 and Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2. And in those games, he was a great tank, he had fun little charge attacks and stuff, and, you know, I enjoyed his segment in this as well, where he chases you through the, uh, the X-Men mansion and stuff. You know, spoilies, I guess. <gasps> and, uh, yeah, I don't know, he had some cool movesets and some AoE charge attacks and stuff. I, I'm, I'm hoping that if there's going to be a big X-Men, like, DLC pack of some kind, that he makes the cut. Yeah. I, uh, for my first pick, I want a playable Winter Soldier. He's in the game, not playable. From what I understand. Yeah, there's a fair bit of that. Yeah, and I want Winter Soldier because I love Captain America and all of his friends, and I want to round out a Captain America team with, you know, him and Falcon and I don't know, throw someone else on there. Hell yeah. Team America. Yeah, exactly. I, I can't lie and say that his moveset would particularly be the most interesting. Gun and uh, it's knife, maybe some yeah. arm stuff, but I'm just a big fan of Cap. And friends. Uh, I think for my next pick, I'm going to go with Jessica Jones, who also falls in the same category of, like, she's in the game, she appears, there's, like, a fun little Defenders segment in the whole game, which is neat, I did not expect that at all, and, I don't know, she shows up, she punches a thing, and then kind of leaves, and then we never see her again. I would like to have her as DLC, just because I would love to have a full-on Defenders team. Yeah, get that Netflix Defenders roster. Yeah, exactly. And I know, like, Elektra's in the game, and that she, I guess, kind of qualifies for that, but... She's more of an anti-hero than anything. Like I don't, re I don't recall her ever being much of a much of a help for the defenders. She was, you know, kind of killing people. So I don't know. I, I don't really consider her much of a defender. So having, I think, Jessica Jones on the team would be perfect. Yeah. As for like abilities and moves, I, I don't know. She punch hard. Uh, I guess punch same, and jump. <laughs> same category as like you know Winter Soldier. It's like yeah, she, she do some punches. It's fine. I guess. Figure it out. Yeah. Team Ninja will figure it out. My next character is one we very well... I'm going to say... I'm going to put my money on. We are getting. And that's Doctor Doom in the Fantastic Four pack. Doctor Doom is the second greatest comic book supervillain. Right behind Magneto. Uh, that much. alone should just put him up there. You can do a lot of fun moveset things. I mean... I know, obviously, this is a beat 'em up and not a fighting game, but look at any Marvel vs. Capcom game and just watch some footage and tell me you don't want to play Doctor Doom immediately. <laughs> yeah, and, like, the movies and the uh, bot stuff has, like, never done them justice, so... No, no, we have to wait it's a couple years. very <laughs> underrated, in my opinion, right now, and I'd love to have him in the game. Certainly. It could, it could build up some hype for potential Fantastic Four stuff from Marvel in the future. Uh, for my final pick, my, mine's kind of obvious, but it's, it's like, the one character I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Spider-Man 2099. Uh, I feel like if we're gonna have a Spider-Verse team, you know, original Spidey, Gwen, Miles, 2099 fits the bill. I know there's, you know, Spider-Man Noir and stuff, and stuff like that, but I don't know. 2099, I feel, would make for a really cool moveset, because you got plenty of, like, different web combos and stuff that are already in the game. Then you can combine that with, like, various buffing abilities and, like, gadgets and this future tech and stuff. So I think there's plenty of potential there. Oh, certainly. I, I just love to see a Spider-Verse DLC storyline, honestly. Yeah, I mean, Spider-Verse is obviously a very hot commodity right now of yeah. the movie. 2099, it seems, will be a big part of the sequel. So, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a... I think it's a pretty good pick. The final character that I'm picking is a cheat character. Because <laughs> oh, no. at the beginning of this episode, we said, you know, we could do a bunch of X-Men, and that would be easy. But I'm going to pick Quicksilver, who is and isn't an X-Men character <laughs> all of the time. 
I don't know what the current canon is anymore, because they switch back and forth, like, every two months. I don't even know if they're Magneto's kids anymore, or if they're not. Like, they flip it around all the time. Yeah, like, I'm not even sure what Scarlet Witch's abilities are anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she just does what she can do. That, that's the explanation. But Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, put them together on our team would be nice. Obviously, brother-sister combo. Um, on top of that, they have long ties with both the X-Men and the Avengers. So I think, you know, that makes them a good pick. They're obviously very popular characters from the movies, both Fox Marvel and MCU Marvel. Yeah, I would say more so in terms of, like, wh which was done better. For once, I'd give it to Fox <laughs> yeah. in terms of the Quicksilver stuff. Those scenes are definitely more appreciated. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe Quicksilver will uh, show up again later. But hopefully he shows up first in Ultimate Alliance 3. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're dabbling in the multiverse, so there, there's hope yet that he's not a bullet-riddled corpse. Spoilers. Spoilers for 2015. <laughs> <laughs> but, those are the characters that we want to see. What about you? What are the characters you want to see in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3? Let us know down below.